Firstly, I apologise to my regular viewers on this channel. You've probably already seen these 5 Zane builds featured today. This video is for newcomers to the channel. More main Zanes out there fresh here today. Today I bring you 5 amazing Zane builds. Again, I apologise if you've already seen any of these builds people. And also I apologise about my voice. I have got a crazy cold and it's absolutely doing me over. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on the screen now and good luck. Okay, so these five same builds, like I said, have already been featured on my channel. But there's a chance you haven't seen them all and if you're a newcomer here, you probably ain't seen any of them. So let's get into them people. At five, we have the Raiden build. This build is based solely on shock, dealing that shock damage, mounting enemies on Mayhem 4, destroying all in your path. Perfect for those out there with shock weapons they want to test out. This build is definitely for you. So listen to me explain this build from a previous video. So let's get into it and we'll start with weapons. And keeping it within theme, we are using four shock weapons here, all different variants. Now in reality, this build can still be super effective if you decide you want to add a radiation weapon into the mix, a cryo weapon into the mix, corrosive weapon, it actually doesn't matter. But because this is a Raiden build, for video purposes I'm sticking to the theme here. But if you want to mix it up, that's up to you. One thing I will say about the weapons though, I'd say look out for anointments which offer the sentinel anointment or the barrier anointment. Both do amazing things, so look out for those people. Shield here, I'm obviously using the Transformer, plus it's anointed to Zane, and with this build, giving us in turn more damage due to that increased movement speed. The Transformer is one of the most popular shields in the game, and it just makes sense to use it within this Raiden build. Class Mod obviously is a scene dead. Now for this, get as many as you can in Donnybrook. I've seen ones with 5 points in them, but I'm yet to land one of those myself. Grenade, you want to use the shot grenade obviously, I'm using here the Merv Widowmaker, but this does get switched around with other shot grenades. Artifact is a massive part of this build and it's the electric banjo. This is an amazing artifact and it works perfect with this build. It basically chains electric to those enemies and it works amazingly. So let's move on to the skill tree build, starting with Sentinel. 5 points into both Violent Speed and Violent Momentum. Speed equals damage here people, damage equals death. 3 points into Cool Hand, Drone Delivery is selected, 5 points into Salvation, Death Follows Colossus selected and then 2 points into Good Misfortune. On to Digiclone, 3 points into Synchronicity, 2 points into Borrowed Time and 4 points into Donny Brook. And 2 points into that Duct Tape Mud. It's this perk and a drone delivery perk in which we will see our grenades come into action with this build as we ain't actually using grenades ourselves because we're using two action skills. Okay, so moving on to barrier. Five points into adrenaline, four into ready for action, five into rise to the occasion and confident, confidence selected. Action skills, we use sentinel and barrier. On sentinel, we use the augments of bad dose and static field. Shock of those more foes. Action skill 2 we use the barrier, augments we use all rounder and adherence field. This is epic for this build as enemies you touch with your barrier take shock damage and are staggered. So in reality it's a major part of this raid and build. Drop the shield, pick it up and run into enemies, stagger them and just cause destruction. So this build is a great balance of both defence and attack. So yeah guys, the raid and build, a monster of a shock setup one you will not be disappointed in. So next up we have the Scorpion build, now this build concentrates on the incendiary damage. It was a build which started as something else but that failed. So I took another route uh, and this route in my opinion is now even better. There were a few ifs and buts but nothing that can't be solved with simple changes. Take a listen to how this build is put together and what it's capable of. So this build is more about the shield, artifact and weapons, paired with an effective build which allows you to light shit ablaze. So firstly the shield. Within this build we are using the Ember's Blade, an epic shield rewarded for the Mox's highest DLC mission, playing with fire. In my opinion a seriously underrated shield, one which in reality is perfect for any incendiary build. I'd say more so on other Vault Hunters though, Amara for instance we know has some great elemental perks within her skill trees, 
definitely has the best elemental builds, there's no doubt about it. I also feel this could be quite decent on moles too. This shield offering 64% resistance to incendiary damage, but it also offers the following benefits. Deals 1115 incendiary damage to nearby enemies every second, and on shield break, triggers a 5205 damage nova, which is seriously effective people. The class mod I am using is my beautiful scene dead class mod offering 5 points into Donny Brook. This is a must for Zane builds now, it just makes them so much more powerful. Artifact I am using is Unleash the Dragon which is obtained from our Dragon Jr located within Jacob's estate on Eden 6. This artifact is the ultimate incendiary build item. Melee hits ignite enemies, sliding into them or near them ignites enemies, and slamming ignites enemies 100% of the time. You also get a plus 16% incendiary damage and a plus 29% resistance to incendiary which is pretty cool. So it's quite the artifact for incendiary builds. Grenade while using a rain firestorm, this grenade although won't be thrown will come into play quite often. This I guess could be substituted for any other incendiary grenade, that's completely up to you, I just love the rain firestorm. And it looks so great amongst the battle when it's just raining and firestorms upon them enemies. So let's move on to the skill tree build starting with Sentinel, 5 points into violent speed and violent momentum. This build is all about moving so keep moving and keep damaging. We then have Drone Delivery selected, 1 point of grenades coming into play, with 3 points into Salvation, Death Follows Colossus selected and 5 points into Violent Violence, and then we have 2 points into Good Misfortune. As you may know, Good Misfortune paired with the Seeing Dead class mod basically allows you to keep your action skills active indefinitely as long as there are enemies in front of you to shoot. So on to the Digiclone, 5 points into Synchronicity, 3 points into Donny Brook and 3 points into Duct Tape Mod. Another instance where those grenades come into play and it's quite often people. So on to the barrier and we have 5 points within adrenaline, 4 points into ready for action and 5 points into brain freeze and then having confident competence selected. Action skills we are using sentinel with boomsday and static field with barrier using retaliation and all rounder. Weapons can vary in reality, that's completely up to the user. I've gone with weapons I know will add to this build. I will state though the face puncher takes advantage of the melee's ignite enemies which is part of the artifact so every enemy you shoot with the face puncher ignites them which is pretty cool. I will state the only issue I was kind of having playing the slaughter shaft and running around on the handsome jackpot was armoured enemy so if you have room for any weapon effective against armour within your loadout that's probably the one thing this is missing but other than that it just shreds absolutely everything. So all in all it's a great incendiary zane build right here, with a few adjustments to said weapons it's simply effective within every field. I use this within Mayhem 4 and as always with my builds everything is just so easy, bring on Mayhem 5 I say. So yeah guys the Scorpion, I mean we've already had the Sub-Zero, I wanted to introduce his arch rival, question is which is better? Ok so next up we have the Night King, my very own Zane Cryo build, which in my opinion is one of the best Cryo builds in the game. The Night King is capable of serious damage against basically any enemy, check out this build on screen now. So the Night King is absolutely perfect. So firstly the weapons I am using with this, this Cryo is a Lucian Core with that extra Cryo damage coming through that Sentinel anointment. This Infinity Pistol will be subbed as it was just here for testing. My Maggie doesn't leave my inventory, again with that Sentinel Anointment offering that extra Cryo damage. And we then have this beast, the Redistributor with that Sentinel Cryo Anointment too. Amazing weapon which just finishes this build perfectly. The Redistributor is obtainable from Walton and the Valkyrie squad within the Malawan Raid. Ok so the shield I am using here is the Frozen Snowshoe. This again drops from Walton and the Valkyrie squad. This shield is really what I saw and decided to base my build around and this is what we have right here. Sliding into enemies drains or shields and deals up to 5949 bonus cryo damage based on current shield strength. 30% of nova damage is returned as health, plus 40% capacity, minus 10% max health. This one anointed with an action skill end, action skill cooldown rate is increased by 20% for a short time. An amazing shield in reality perfect for a cryo build and that's what we have here. Now I do pair this with other things in this build which I'll explain in a second. Class mod here I'm using the scene dead, the best zane class mod in the game, mine offering 5 points into Donny Brook, which is the best you can get in my opinion. 
Artifact I'm using is the Snowdrift Victory Rush. This almost perfect when paired with that shield in Usia. Sliding faster dealing cryo damage, plus 27% cryo efficiency with a bigger mag size. If this had any kind of shield regen or shield regen delay, that would be 100% perfect. And the grenade we have is this green, not important here, it's just the anointment which this offers, which is why it's selected. Grenades don't really play a part in this build, apart from the anointments they offer. And this one giving you an action skill end, deal 50% bonus cryo damage with weapons for 10 seconds. So skill tree build, starting with the Digiclone, important for damage output, we have 5 points into Synchronicity and 3 points going into Donny Brook. On the Sentinel tree we have 5 points into Violent Speed, 4 points into Cold Bore and 5 points into Violent Momentum. Cold Boy is underrated if you make it a habit of switching weapons. We have 5 points into Salvation, important for defensive reasons obviously. We then have Death Follows Close and then 3 points into Good Misfortune. Now you can sacrifice 1 or 2 points here within this Good Misfortune and put them into Donny Brook if you like, that's up to you. With the Seeing Dead class mod though and Good Misfortune pairing together it makes it super easy to keep your action skills active. That's why I've applied 3 into Good Misfortune. On the barrier tree we are putting 5 points into Adrenaline, 5 points into Ready for Action. Ready for Action is important as the quicker you can regen those shields, the quicker you can then slide into enemies getting the benefits of that shield. 5 points into Brain Freeze, a great perk here, and then 2 points into Best Serve Code. I could have added more here but in reality we are getting more than enough cryo damage elsewhere and in fact only selecting 1 point here people is the right thing to do and then selecting Confident Competence. That would be the better call in my opinion so that's what I'd advise you to do. So that will be 1 point into Best Serve Code and then 1 point into Confident Competence. Action skills with slot 2 I'm using barrier with retaliation and all rounder augments. This gives you that perfect protection for when you're sliding into a group of enemies. And we also are using sentinel with bad dose in static field. So all this build works in making a most that are moving quick, sliding and dealing maximum damage. 99% of it coming from cryo. But at the same time giving you enough defensive to not have to pull back out of certain instances. Pairing that with the 100% sentinel anointed weapons means this just goes absolutely crazy because like I said your action skills are literally active 99% of the time so you're always getting that bonus trial damage and all this damage just stacks on top of each other people and it makes playing in Mayhem 4 absolutely a piece of cake. So yeah people the Night King probably my favourite out of the bunch just for that fun fact it offers also. Ok so next up we have the Starship Trooper build. Now this build originated from me trying to test myself. Could I create a build based around a very unique shield? Not an amazing shield by all means, but very very unique indeed. The shield is the Rico. Yes, in reference to Starship Troopers, the Starship Troopers character. Hence the name of this build. What I ended up with was an amazing build I just had to share with you guys. Making the most out of that Rico shield. Here, check it out. This Starship Trooper build takes the basics of that build and changes a few things up to help with the shield which in return benefits you. What I've ended up with is a build which isn't quite as powerful as the Winter Soldier, but in turn you are literally invincible. You almost always, I'd say 99% of the time, will have your action skills active too. Now because of the perks of using the Distributed Denial passive ability with the Rico, the bullets not absorbed do ricochet back at that enemy. And this build makes the absolute most out of this. And the fact that that is the main benefit of the shield, the Rico shield. So let's run through this build. Shield, obviously the Rico. 50% chance to reflect projectiles while shielded. 80% when not shielded. You want to live forever? This is a reference to Starship Troopers. The main character is called Rico. And a part of the movie he says, and I quote, Come on you apes, you want to live forever? This one anointed to Zane. And while Sentinel is active, gain 15% increased movement speed. This truly helps this build in terms of extra damage. Although it isn't 100% necessary, if you can get this anointed on this actual shield, you are ready to go. Massive shout out to my friend Rangers Mad69 for hooking me up with this shield. Much better than the one I initially had drop. Class mod you need to have the scene dead. This is obtained from literally any enemy on the handsome jackpot. The dedicated drop boss though is the jackpot. This is very very important to this build. As damaging an enemy with your weapon has a chance to activate all of your selected kill skills and also adding 25% effect bonus to each that's activated. 
Now this build works with the barrier perk of distributed denial, seeing dead and that recoil shield. All of these along with a few other perks within that skill tree work hand in hand and I'll explain as I go on. Grenade I'll go with something that gives you any additional damage upon action skill end. I have many grenades with this anointment. I was just literally just trying this one out. This grenade itself isn't important though, it's the anointment that really helps out. And although you will not be throwing grenades within this build, we will be using the perk of this sentinel dropping those grenades. Artifact is a tricky one. I'm currently switching between two here and making the most out of both of them. This one here, the Asshole Idol, for that cryo damage, shield recharge, but most importantly, the action skill cooldown. With this and this build, it takes literally two seconds for that barrier to regen. And that's if it ever runs out. I'll use this or I'll use this loaded dice here for extra movement speed, which again helps damage wise with this build. If you have an artifact which offers both action skill cooldown and movement speed, that is the ticket. Weapons we will come back to. So skill tree build, starting with Sentinel. 5 points into violent speed and 5 into violent momentum. Most of our damage output multipliers are due to speed within this build. 3 into cool hand. Drone delivery selected and 5 into Salvation. Salvation isn't a true must and you can swap this out for Cold Ball if you want. I just prefer that constant flow of health back so I'll go with Salvation. Death follows Colossus selected and then 2 into Good Misfortune. This is also a key element to the build and I'll explain further on. Action skill 1 is Sentinel. Here guys you can use what you like in terms of augments. I just prefer the extra buffs from both Bad Dose and Static Field. So let's move on onto Barrier. 5 in Adrenaline. 5 in Brain Freeze. 5 in Rise to the Occasion. Confident Competence selected. Really Expensive Jacket selected. 5 into Best Serve Code. Fertility Belt selected. 1 in Nerves of Steel. With also Calm Cool Collected selected. And then the main one, Distributed Denial. Barrier will be your Action Skill slot 2. With Retaliation and All Rounders Augments. Now with Salvation, the Sentinel's Static Field Augment, Adrenaline, Rise to the Occasion, Really Expensive Jacket, Fertility Belt and Calm Cool Collected, your Zane will be good to go in terms of defense. Your shields and health will be regening faster than they will be depleting as long as there are enemies in front of you to shoot. So yeah people, the Starship Trooper, definitely a fun one. Okay so lastly we have the Winter Soldier. This in my opinion is up there with the most powerful in the game not just on Zayn, across the entire board. For me, after testing many builds before this, I definitely feel this offers more than 99% of other builds out there. This allows you to be almost invincible 99% of the time, as well as causing maximum damage Zayn is capable of while keeping those defenses intact. Here, listen to how this build is created. It's on another level to 99% of builds I've already seen, and today it gets slightly better with certain additions. And also a couple of changes coming from a few tests I incorporated into this version 2 Winter Soldier build. Also with the changes I have applied, slight ones at that, the additional buffs to Zane Anointed Weapons make this even more powerful. So weapons I am currently using within this loadout you can see on the screen now. Even with the Iron Cannon nerf, it's still a beast in my opinion. All these weapons have a purpose within this build due to me liking to have a mix up of certain elements. Backup weapons I do have though. But 95% of all weapons I am using with this build are anointed to that Sentinel on Zane. While Sentinel is active, gain 100% of damage as bonus cryo damage. This is up from 50%, so an extra 50% damage people. Like, wow. Now, this is where my cryo damage comes in within this build. Everything else I have sorted here. And it's really for a reason of not having to switch things up every 5 minutes. Because that's what I hate, coming across an enemy, yet your weapons feel weak, so you go into your inventory and you're switching things up. That I don't want to do. Not as often as other builds require you to do anyway. So weapons you can see now. Some epic shoes people. But don't get it twisted, I do mix things up sometime or another. Shield guys, I'm using the Transformer with the anointment of 15% additional movement speed while Sentinel is active. And because this build literally, you have your Sentinel active 99% of the time during battle, you will always have this movement speed buff, which is very important to damage output with this build. 
Grenade isn't as important though as with this build, we don't see them come into action. But it's the anointment here which is needed as it offers that corrosive damage upon action skill end which is important to this build. Because as you can see I don't have a corrosive weapon within my loadout. If I do decide to use a corrosive weapon I will switch this anointment on a grenade to something else, another element that I'm not using within my weapons. Artifact here is really the only thing I keep switching up. This one is great but I need one with similar perks which offers increased movement speed. So artifact will be changed no doubt. Electric Banjo could be effective too. That I will have to test forever though with my initial testing. Just something just didn't seem right. But a workaround might be needed. Class mod and this is the new addition. It's a rare variant of the seeing dead class mod. What's special about this people is the 5 points it adds to Donny Brook. What this does is allow you to slot 5 points into Donny Brook taking it up to 10 and this perk alone gives you an additional 37% extra damage. Pair that with other means within this build and it's just utterly crazy people. Now the build itself hasn't changed much from the first Winter Soldier build. So I won't run you through again each and every perk and what they do. I'm pretty sure by now you know what they do. I will just explain how this works while you quickly see the build so you can copy it down if you want to. But if you do want a more detailed description of the way this build works check out my Winter Soldier 1 build which I'll link within the video description. Then come back here and apply the certain changes I have done. So this build concentrates on enough additional means of defense via shield extensions and regen perks with a few points into salvation. These two perks give you enough defense due to the fact you spend most of your time within your barrier so you will be fine. Also don't forget Donny Brook regens a percentage of your health too and with 10 points into that with this seeing their class mod it's truly amazing. The rest in reality is based on damage and maximizing the route in creating combos which will work with this build to maximize damage outputs. Speed is a major part, that's where a lot of this damage comes from. Using the scene dead class mod also makes everything just so much user in terms of activating kill skills which just makes everything so much better plus the 25% additional effect bonus this class mod offers which applies to all kill skills. But damage we have perks like Confident Competence, Violent Violent and Playing Dirty. These add greatly in terms of DPS and we also have Synchronicity and Donny Brook. Donny Brook in my opinion is the best means of damage output Zane has an offer within that skill tree build. And no you do not need to be using your Digiclone for this to take effect. Now this build is meant for you to be using both action skills at the same time. Using the barrier to protect yourself and you're literally invincible within the barrier. And seeking the benefits of the augments. Sentinel will shoot and help out with activating all kill skills. And maintaining use of action skills thanks to the death follows close coming into play via hits to enemies. Thanks to that seeing their class mod. And it's this pain of these action skills which also allows you to lay down that damage. You become a walking terminator. Mayhem 4 has never been so easy, farming made simple. This is just crazy people in the background you can see just how powerful this is. But yeah guys if you are new to this build I hope you try it out and love it like so many people including myself already do. If you used version 1 try and get the additional variants I have also added into this build with a couple of minor changes to the skill tree too. The main difference here though is the class mod with the addition of the shield. So yeah people, that was my version 2 of the Winter Soldier. Slightly better than the first, but better is all that matters. Now all of these builds are capable of absolutely destroying a Mayhem 4, so don't worry about that. If you've come here with a certain weapon in mind, a certain elemental type of a weapon, if the build here isn't for that, stay tuned because I have many more Zane builds to come. But guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me your favourite out of these five down below in that comment section. If you have your very own build which you created yourself and want to share it with the world, hit me up on my Discord linked within the video description. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.